Hey, what's up everyone? It's Duncan from OverlandJournals.com. I just got back after spending four days in the Flinders Ranges here in South Australia. Had a really super awesome time. And the travel video series uh, will be coming out. The first part will be coming out this Sunday. So make sure you check that out when it comes out. Um, in today's short video, I want to talk about cell signal boosters. In my Overlanding for Beginner series, if you haven't watched that, go check it out. Link above and in, in the description below. I talked about different types of communication methods um, or tools you could have when you're out there and cell signal booster was one of them. Now I have a cell signal booster antenna coupled with a um, cradle and that became quite useful when we were in the Flinders um, because my wife has a sick mum she has to keep in touch with and that helped to get signal even when nobody else had signal. So I thought I'll do a video and show how it really works out there in the field. So here it is, go check it out. The various different types of communication we can have on the go. Once one specific one I talked of was cell phone signal boosters. Now I know you know you'll all say but you know, when you're out there over landing or out in the outback, why in the world do you need to carry a cell phone? And that's quite true. I agree with you completely. I hate having cell phones around. And that's I'm trying to get away from it when I go out back. But the thing is, you sometimes need to have communication. Like in our case, right now we are in the Flinders Ranges, and we need to have communication going, especially for my wife because um, she's got a sick mom, and she would like to try and keep in touch every now and then um, because they are, they live alone. So that's quite important. So one of the things I had done was have a cell phone booster. And this antenna here, the shorter one, is a cell phone booster. It's connected to a cell phone cradle where we put the um, cell phone into that cradle and then kind of boosts the signal. Now, of course, if there's no signal, there's absolutely no signal, then you know, it's, it's, it's pointless. However, what happens is with the cell phone booster, up until about, I, I, in my experience, about 10 kilometers after you have lost the signal without the aid of a booster, um, once you put it into the cradle, I still get signal. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is my wife's cell phone and um, as you can see, there's, there's no signal. It says SOS only, no service. And if you come over to my phone, so this is my phone on the cradle. And as you can see, um, if you take a closer look, there is signal. Um, a faint one, but nevertheless a signal. And my wife was able to make a phone call to her mum yesterday and just make sure she was all right. So in my experience, after about after losing um, signal, as long as it's on the cradle, up to about 10 kilometers, I still do get signal. So we managed to get signal on the uh, through the uh, cell phone booster. Um, the weak signal, but it still gets us onto the internet. Uh, so John is going to go in and um, do the booking, get the vehicle entry fee. So that should be all good. So if if by chance a ranger stops us and asks us if we've paid, we I can bring up the email and um, show it to him. So in, once we get in back into the uh, reserve or uh, the national park, there will be no signal. So I'm going to print the uh, do a PDF print off my email and keep it saved in my phone. Yeah, so at least we got signal. So I hope you enjoyed that video and you liked it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. My channel is all about sharing my overlanding experiences with the wider community. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for the uh, support. I really appreciate it. You guys get me out there and keep me doing what I love doing. Um, and don't forget to watch, watch out for Sunday, the first part of the Flinders Ranges uh, video series coming out. And I'll see you next Thursday in another video. Thanks for watching.